What's up guys? I'm going to take you through our members app called StreamFit. It's black and green in the middle of my screen. So when I click into it, it may ask you to sign in if you have never before. Um, once that happens, it won't ask you again. So, um, okay, I'm going to take you through a few things. One's going to be how to register ahead of time for your classes. And then I'm going to show you how you can view the workouts. These populate the night before at 5 p.m. And then I will show you how to set up a payment account and also see our messaging with our members and coaches. So uh, the first thing you're going to see when you log into the app is going to be the class roster for the day. So I'm going to register for 430 class. I'm going to click into the class. In the top right hand corner, you're going to see an orange button. It'll either say register or actions. If you have a child under your account, it might say actions. You're going to register yourself. And now I'm going to be on the class roster. So right next to the orange kettlebell at the very top, you'll see a little checklist. And when I click onto that, I'm going to see that uh, Steve Hughes, Debbie Gullett, and me are now registered for that class. So throughout the day, more people will start populating this list. Um, but you can also see who's coaching the class, but you'll, all, you'll be able to see who's coming. All right, I'm going to go back to the white kettlebell at the top. It's going to turn orange. And now we're going to view the workout for the day. So you'll see your warm up your strength session, um, the workout, and then if you're in the strong challenge, you can score that down here. Now, if you finished your workout and you wanna score it, you're gonna click on actions. So I'm gonna do it for the wad, and I'm gonna click on results. Now here, I'm gonna be able to enter how many reps I got for this workout, and then you have to click RX or scaled. RX is gonna be if you did level three, scaled is everything else. Um, you can also make notes um, right to the right of the rep count. If you click into that little piece of paper, you can write notes there. And then you're going to click Save Score. I'm not going to actually save it because I don't have a score in there. Um, and that's how you're going to view and uh, score your workouts. And again, they do populate at 5 p.m. the night before, so you'll be able to see what you're doing the next day. All right. And then once you've scored it, if you click on the three bars next to the checklist, these are all the people that have scored the workout for today. So um, it starts with the RX and you can toggle over to the scaled if you want to and you'll see everybody on the roster. There's also a function that you can hide your score if you don't want to be on the leaderboard list but you actually want to keep track of what you're doing. Um, you can do that as well. So I'm going to go ahead up next to the kettlebell. There's that little back arrow. I'm going to click it and I'm going to go back into the main screen. Now we're going to go to the bottom of um, your screen and you're going to see dashboards, score, sorry, store, um, the class kettlebell, chats, and then more. So if you click on the dashboard, it should show you which classes you're registered for up here. And over time, we're trying to get a function added that will show our next event coming up, um, but that will be coming soon. Um, in the store, if you click on the store, there's a few things you can actually purchase in the store through your app. Um, that's FitAid, Water, and Powerade. Some of the more expensive items you actually have to get through a coach and they will charge them out. Uh, the way the charge out work, it's like a running tab. And so whatever you get throughout the month, it, it holds it on your account and then it will um, draft it with your membership. So sometimes your membership might be a weird amount if you end up getting stuff from the store that month. All right, I'm gonna click over into chats. Now, I have a lot of chats in here because I'm a part of all of them, but most likely you're gonna be a part of the all members at the very bottom and then whatever class you primarily come to, or you may have two on here, um, but basically once you um, are in a class, I'm just gonna click into one of them, you'll be able to see that all the members of that class are just kind of chatting back and forth. Um, your coach is in here, so if you need to get a hold of your coach, you can contact them through here. And over time, we're hoping that um, this app will have the ability to uh, direct message your coach, so hopefully coming soon. All right, and now I'm gonna to go to more, bottom right-hand corner. Now, this is where kind of everything else is. If you wanna change your payment uh, method, you go into access and then click on payment method, and then you're gonna click on the top right plus button. It's gray, it's kinda of hard to see, but top right. And then you can choose to um, put your card in here, your credit card or your ACH direct deposit. Um, that is your checking account and routing number. So just a reminder, if you choose to use your credit card, there is a 3% credit card fee. But if you want to waive that fee, just set up your ACH and you should be fine. It won't have that fee attached. I'm going to go back out of here. And um, coming soon, we will have the QR code check-in. So that's a little different than registering for class. That's actually when you walk into the gym, you'll be able to scan the QR code. I'm just going to pull it up. 
Um, we have a little scanner at the coach's desk. You'll scan it and it actually checks you into class saying that you are you have attended. So other than that, guys, there's a few other functionalities in here. You can kind of play around this app, but um, it's got everything. It's kind of an all-in-one um, and it's working very well. So let us know if you have any questions. Other than that, see you in the gym.